Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Live Alive in the Wild West chapter. It is time for a showdown. Looks like we're going to be facing Mad Dog once again. As he slowly walks out. Don't even think about running. Too late. Well, I guess I gotta go shoot him in the face again. Oh, I should have saved right here, because, uh, <laughs> stopped right here, because I could save it. Uh, not that it matters that much, but, uh, go ahead and get that save. There we go. You win, right? I want to I want to talk to uh talk to you sir. That's really you up on the wall, isn't it? Locked up tight. Not sure if I can do anything for you. I uh uh Do it or don't, but if you if you're going to do if you're going to do it outside. Wait, are we talking about the, the, the duel or something? Oh, right, the duel. Okay, gotcha. What a day. It's all gone to hell in a handbasket. I wish you luck, stranger. Truly, there is no need for this. Why can't we all be friends? I would not want to face uh, that pistol arrow. Ah, it'll be fine. Hey, all right, we got some musical accompaniment. Maybe not. Tumbleweed. Now there's a look I've never seen on you before. I'm surprised you can see it with my hat pulled down so low and my beard so thick. Oh, a pang of sadness for the end of our extended association? What? No, not at all. <laughs> I understand. I truly do. But all good things must come to an end. You know, like that glass of milk that I was drinking in there, it was pretty tasty. And end it we will, kid. From ten paces. Each man takes five. I'll count it off. On the fifth, we turn and fire. Agreed? Sure, whatever. Right then. I mean, I guess if he wants to take that as a uh, agreement. I didn't actually agree to it. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> I like the guy with the green hair back there. He's I think that's Cesar. Five. Aha. There were uh people waiting in the ambush for us. Can we loot their corpses? Oh. One of the crazy bunch. You, you guys are gonna loot the corpses. That's, that's my job. Those two gunslingers. How they know? Well, you know, I mean, we're protagonists. Just my luck. These simpletons ruining a perfectly good duel. Ah, don't worry. We can do it later. Wow! You both are incredible! Well, I mean, I'm more incredible than him. I, I shot him in the face earlier. With them backing us up, maybe, just maybe, we can take on the crazy bunch. Yeah, two against a whole bunch. 
Quite literally, actually. Listen, I guarantee there's a whole lot more of them on the way. And they'll be out for blood now. You gotta help us fight! I don't know. I don't seem to be getting XP from these fights. Well, when you put it like that. Not that I could ever muster the strength to turn a woman down. Sorry, kid. But it seems our duel will have to wait. Yeah, I already said that. But only until after we've dealt with the crazy bunch. Do you think there are a bunch, like, honey bunches of oats? No, probably not, right? All right, so we need to talk to everyone. Um, and then we're going to have an, a, a time limit on how long... Uh, we have to set up. But we will get to that. Uh, let's see. I need to... I think it's uh, talking to Mad Dog is what will uh, trigger it all. Solo somos humildes mariachi. Humble, huh? Atrapados en la red del destino. Caught in destiny's design. And this guy says, We are but humble mariachi. And. Sin poder escapar de este pueblo. Donde la sangre fluye como el vino. Unable to escape this town where the blood flows like wine. Well, that seems bad. I don't know. Both so fast. I just know we can get rid of those outlaws with your help. If you manage to get rid of those bastards, I promise we'll make it worth your while. We've got a little gold squirreled away. It's yours if we survive. You know who leads them, don't you? The only survivor, Custer Seventh, the devil who by all rights should be dead in dust. Odio. Oh, the outlaws call him. They flock to the man, their shepherd. The, they flocked to the man, their shepherd with a heart of stone. They were broken camp the moment he heard what you two did. We can't let it go unanswered. You guys uh, detecting a theme in our, our bosses here? I reckon you think the man who named this town success must have had a sense of humor, but you're wrong. Back in the day, the streets were filled with prospectors hoping to strike a rich in the gold rush. That's why the gangs come calling to strip the carcass clean of the last bits of meat on the bone. Locked up tight. That was some fine shooting, and that ain't no lie. But there's at least 15 more of those boys left. Hey, um, if you're serious about staying to fight, then it's only right that we fight too. There's got to be something we can do to help, isn't there? If I'm being honest, none of us are all that good with guns. Just as likely to shoot each other as one of the crazy bunch. Well, maybe we can come up with something else. Uh, let's see. I think I will have a... Okay. There's actually an NPC that uh, is not around here yet. All right, let's see. Okay. <laughs> so be it. If they've got us outnumbered, then we'll just have to even the odds before the big soiree. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm down with that. We ambush them, kid. We've got to prepare traps and whatnot to whittle down the gang when they ride in. Okay, so... The way this is going to work, and uh, because it's timed, uh, I'll go over it before we uh, get to it. We're going to go set up traps. Um, there's different types of traps, and you only set up one of each. I mean, you can set up multiples, but the uh, multiples don't do anything. Um, and basically, for each trap that you set, the final boss will have a fixed group of people fewer in that fight. If you set up no traps... You're basically in a fight in which the enemies take up the whole screen. And with each trap that you set up that's unique, um, a specific group of them will be removed. Uh, so it is very good to um, 
focus on the ones that will take out the most people uh, first. Like some will uh, take out um, like one, some will take out uh, two, that kind of thing. Um, but also each person who sets a trap has a different time in which they uh, do it. Um, so like, Someone can do a uh, trap in 30 seconds, others can do it in, like, two minutes. Um, and since we're timed, we have to be uh, careful about who we uh, give to do traps and stuff like that. Um, you can do multiple traps with, mul with uh, people who are fast. But since there are, since, like, you really only need to do one of each trap, um, which, of course, the game isn't going to tell you that. Uh... It's not really necessary. There are more people than there are traps, and not everyone is worth having do the traps. And there's actually one trap that we may want to keep. But we'll get to that in a moment. That's how we'll win. Mm -hmm. Having said that... Feels a bit improper for us to do all the work, given that this is as much your fight as it is ours, if not more. I'll help. <laughs> nice of Annie to be uh, so uh, quick to help. Me too. I suppose I'll do what I can. Count me in. Oh, hello. Honey. We already know nothing will change if we keep our heads down and stay quiet. It's Dallas, huh? I say enough is enough. Better to take a stand, come what may. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm behind it. But, honey, it's... it's not... She's right. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of them pushing us around. What about you, Cesar? Well, yeah, yeah, I've had it up to here with them, too. It's happening. <laughs> I knew they would. Delos is one of the people that you don't want to use. Then, my friends, the time has come. So the thing is, is Delos, uh, like, certain people will have, like, you know, they'll, they'll do a trap in 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Delos can be anywhere from, like, I think 1 second to 4 minutes. As is random. <laughs> like something out of a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty contrived, isn't it? It's almost as if someone wrote it all down, scripted it out. But nah, it couldn't be it. I believe the only one who has yet to declare their intentions is you, Sheriff. Sure. with your father's badge. Here, mister. You deserve it. Aw, thanks. Even though Mad Dog's been doing all the talking. My pa... My pa ain't fit to wear that badge. Now, now you should also be respectful towards him. Don't be mean. time terrified of what might happen if I dared do the right thing but now I see sometimes you've got to brave the fire to forge a brighter future now that's true they may call you the kid <laughs> but to me here and now you're a good man the 
right man for the job. Not that I've done actually done that much to show this, but you know, I'll go with it. I'll roll with it. So hold on to that badge. And when the dust has settled, I pray I'll have done my part to earn it back. A sheriff's badge, huh? Not much left to discuss then, I reckon. Me and the kid will scrounge up supplies for the ambush. No point in asking y'all for help. I wager we have a bit more experience with this sort of work. Time is of the essence, kid. Can't spend too long rummaging around either. Or we'll run out of time to prepare. No, I know. Uh, so, time does pause when we're in menus or uh, dialogues like this. I think the menu. Actually, I don't know about the menu. Mad Dog has joined the party. They'll strike at dawn. That's their way. As soon as the sun crests the horizon, they'll come riding into town from both sides. That means you've got until the eighth bell to make your preparations. Only have the one chance. We're not ready by the time they arrive. Anyway, when you've got everything you need, come back here. We're all ready and willing to do our part. Just say the word. All right, preparing for the Crazy Bunch. When the eighth bell rings at dawn, the Crazy Bunch will ride into town, listen carefully to Mad Dog's advice, and work with the townsfolk to set traps before the outlaws arrive. There are two ways to spend your time before the Crazy Bunch come calling. Search the town for items that can be used for traps. Ask locals to set traps with the items in your inventory. Every moment counts, so think carefully before taking action. A word of advice, kid. Remember this moment. Save the memory if you take my meaning. In case it all goes sideways. Thank you for just smashing right through that fourth wall. He is level 8. Abilities. So he has a single shot as well. A Texas Jitterbug, a projectile. Whirl and fire a barrage of bullets at surrounding enemies. Uh, short charge time, damage low. 15 hits, directional. Ride the lightning and make an enemy freeze in his tracks with a custom-made bullet. Uh, 3 hits, slow damage, directional. And uh, statuses... Uh, Paralyzation, Sidewinder, uh, damage high, directional, attack one well-placed shot to make an enemy rue the day he crossed you. And we ha we are not gaining XP in this story at all. Uh, flask of Herbal Liniment. So there's a few other items to get here. Not sure where they all are. There's something there. A jacket, huh? Alright, so that is going to be equipment. Jacket is uh, more defense and more special attack. Sure. And Sheriff's Badge. Doesn't actually seem to do anything, but I'll equip it anyway. Why not? A pouch of oil. An empty oil bottle. And a bottle makes for a quick and easy way to start a fire. This is true. So, um, every uh, oil and uh, empty jar that we get, we can combine to make. It'll take a moment to prepare. Okay. Reckon it's worth doing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you how it's done. There you go. Bottle fire. Just light her up and toss quick. All right, so um, now we have our very first trap. We only need to do one of these. Um, so we're going to give it to one of the people who's uh, slowest. There. So Pancho, I believe, is Agarren you. Sus diliches y prepárense para los problemas. Gather your supplies and prepare for the chaos to come. 
Agarren sus diliches y prepárense um, para los okay. problemas. Hold on. Oh, I need to talk to the sheriff. Okay. Got everything you need for your ambush? Nope. I take it that means no. Then you best get a move on and finish up. Okay. I got in so Alright, maybe I just need to get all the items first then. I don't know. Empty. Bottle of Miracle Tonic. Flask of Herbal Liniment. Empty. Pouch of oil. There we go. So there should be plenty of time. Wait, please. Anything but that. That's this week's earnings. You can't possibly need it. I'm begging you. That's, uh... Well, uh... How to explain. Do you have, like, a speaking tube here? That there's one of my most prized possessions. A poster of this dancing girl I fancy. Jennifer's her name. Yeah, we're gonna need it. She's got this grace power about her, you know? Sexy, but a little intimidating. But in a way that makes her even more appealing. Yeah, it's, we're gonna need it. Sorry. Well, it breaks my heart to part with it. But if you really need it, so be it. Yep, we're gonna need it. The barkeep's beloved poster, huh? Alright, so inventory-wise, we got the uh, barkeep's beloved poster, a drawing of the barkeep's favorite dancing girl, Jennifer. Outlaws might find it distracting. Miracle Tonic restores the hit points of you and your friends. Gets rid of any uh, queasiness or sleepiness besides. Uh, share to restore a moderate amount of hit points to allies, as well as remove any queasiness or sleepiness. Oil with a bottle and a spark. This could be a formidable weapon. Poncho, a great big roomy bit of cloth that keeps the rain and wind at bay. Herbal liniment. Uh, rub it on the skin to restore hit points. A moderate amount of hit points. Bottled fire. Makes for a good trap or a useful weapon in a fight. Throw a flaming bottle of oil at enemies to set them on fire. Just wanted well to check this and see if you had a garter in there. <laughs> Best get a move on, kid. All right, fine. So we'll be able to get that when we uh, send her off to uh, do a uh, trap. Strip jerky, huh? Mm, jerky. Salt and time make for a simple, reliable friend on the road. Store a moderate amount of hit points to self and enhance all attributes. Okay, so that's the first bell. The first bell. All right, let me get a new save, and let's go ahead and save over slot one as a temporary thing. And what if I Got say yes? You need? Yeah, good. Then it's time to distribute your supplies to the folks here. It goes without saying that some will take longer than others to get things ready. So hurry. Time's a wasting. And let's see, did I? Okay. Hey, Mister, think you could use this? A slingshot, huh? Okay. Somos tres mariachi. Among we three mariachi, no I am neither the best nor peor. the worst. Pero comparado con Delos, soy un campeón. But compared to Delos, I'm a champion. All right, need you to set a trap. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? All right, so we have just the one. Um, so we have the slingshot. Billy's a crack shot with it, by all accounts. 
Uh, we'll give him a bottled fire. So that's going to be the uh, bottled fire. And actually, I should probably make notes of the things that I am using here. Just a second. Okay, so I can make a note that uh, I've done things. All right, so we'll go ahead and give you a, a bottled fire. In general, it doesn't matter who you give what to. Um, let's see. Something else. Um, <laughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, give the uh, bottle fire. In defiance of death and danger, I shall go set this trap. All right. Uh, preparing for the big soiree. Have someone set a trap in the Wild West scenario. Hope you haven't forgotten about me, mister. I'm ready to chip in. Yep, I need you to set a trap. I need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? So, Billy is the only one who can use a slingshot. It, or the slingshot, I should say. So, uh, you do want to give it to him. I won't let you down, mister. And... There is... Uh, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, let's see. Somos tres Sancho. Abildoso soy, mas útil que Pancho soy. Most skillful soul I am, more useful than our Pancho. Uh, need Please you to set a trap. Set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? And let's give you Barkeep's beloved poster. Por la vida, el honor y el amor... Esta trampa idea preparar. For life, honor, and love, I shall go set this trap. All right, and let's go ahead and get a save. Um, we need to go start uh, digging through all of the other buildings to find more materials. But that is going to be for next time. See you then, everyone.